back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in for another video. In this video, it's a very exciting moment because I am going to be doing my first rice water update. I started my rice water journey back in January of this year and I said I was going to do one every three months. Um, I think I may have gone a little over, I don't know. But nevertheless, I am ready to show you my results. Now, just to give you a little background, um, I started following this lady, Paige Leanne. She um, encouraged me to start my journey. Um, I want to give it a try and see if it will aid in, in my hair growth over a year period. And on that video, I straightened my hair to measure my current hair length at that time uh, with heat. I will not be using heat uh, anymore on my hair to stretch out my hair to show my hair growth and my length. Um, I would just be using water or leave-in conditioner and um, like a, a gel or something um, just to make it as slick as I can and as straight as I possibly can, but I don't want to put any more heat on my hair. My ends have not been trimmed or clipped uh, since this whole rice water journey. Um, after this this um, footage, I will be going to uh, get my hair trimmed. Um, it needs a bad trim. It has not had a proper professional trim. So I will be doing that. So it may kind of set me back just a little bit, but if this stuff works like it says it works, then my hair, of course, will grow. Um, more importantly, I want healthy hair growth. Now length, of course, is what I'm uh, aiming for, but I also want my hair to be healthy uh, more so that's the most important thing so with trimming your hair and properly grooming your hair that actually does help more in your hair growth it actually helps to boost your hair growth so don't neglect you know trimming your hair and you know properly taking care of your ends and as they say dusting those ends you definitely want to do that and properly take care of your hair because the rice water alone is just not going to do it all by itself you know you you gotta you gotta put some work in there as well and do some other things to also aid in that uh, hair growth so i've been doing this rice water since january as i stated and i have been doing this once a week. The process of my rice water uh, regimen is I do this once a week as I said and I do a shampoo and then I do a deep condition. Um, I normally do the rice water after I shampoo and leave that on my hair for anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and then I do a deep condition with the Myel Organics deep conditioner, mint deep conditioner. Um, I used to do it the other way around, but because the rice water is rancid and it's it's sour and it's strong, um, the Myel Organics uh, mint deep conditioner actually is uh, overpowers that smell and it leaves my hair smelling really well. So I always do the rinse first and then I follow it up with the deep conditioner. So now is the moment of truth to see if this rice water has actually Actually grown my hair any since I started my journey in January so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get started so when I initially measured my hair on the left side it came right at my neckline it did not go any further than my neckline right here on the left on the right side it came exactly on top of my collarbone and on the back of my hair it came just a little it came right across my shoulder blades lined up with my shoulder blades maybe just a little uh below my shoulder blades but i don't think it was quite so i'll just say right at my across my shoulder blades it was that length and i don't think i measured from the top uh down to my chin so i will be doing that because the only video where i measured from the top was the hair serum the aloe vera the aloe vera hair serum and my hair barely just came to my lip so I'm going to be measuring from here, here, and also left and right, and also across my back. So I'm going to use the Garnier Fructis. This is a leave-in spray detangler. And I'm going to use the TGIN Curl Balm. Alright, we're going to start to spray from the root down. Make sure that piece is nice and saturated. And I cannot wait to get my hair trimmed. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get it trimmed. 
And I'm just going to put some of the gel on it here. From the root to the tip. And we're going to see what this stretches out to be. Alright, here we go. In the moment of truth, we're going to see if it still stops at my lip or if it comes lower. And we're... Comes to my chin. Comes exactly to the bottom of my chin. So, it grew. Now, I don't know if y'all remember, well you probably don't, but I had cut my hair again after I did that aloe vera video because I had trimmed my uh, ends. And I had not trimmed it anymore. And then I started doing the rice water, like I said, you know, recently. Because I have not cut my hair. So we'll do it one more time. All the way. <laughs> so we're going to see what the left is doing now. Alright, so the moment of truth, we're going to see if it stops at my neck or if it comes down a little further. And here we go. Scoot back some. It is now at my, a little bit below my collarbone. Just a tad bit below the collarbone. Do that one more time. Straighten my neck up. Yeah, it is just below my collarbone. All right, let's check the right side. All right, here we go. Now, last time it came right below my collarbone. So now it's maybe about a half inch below my collarbone. Just a half inch above, uh, below my collarbone. Now we're going to take a look at the very back of my hair. Just slightly past what it was before. So I do see progress that the rice water is working, especially without trimming my hair or, or doing any other maintenance other than just the, my regular wash routine. So for my hair to go from just barely at, the, at my neckline to now down to my collarbone, that definitely is growth. And then the other side is just a little bit below my collarbone as to where it was right at my collarbone. One thing about the rice water I failed to make mention of earlier is that I have noticed that the rice water has thickened my hair greatly. So in addition to the growth, it's definitely given it some thickness and some fullness. So I noticed that after washing my hair and letting my hair air dry, when I do twist out, my hair looks very big, it looks very full, and I did not have that volume before, not as much. So I did notice that and I'm really excited about that fullness, especially when I wear my hair out and twist or when it's just like big and fluffy. It just looks more fuller and thicker and I like that. So I definitely noticed that is a result of the rice water. So definitely some hair growth there. So I see some progress. So I'm still going to keep it up. Now, I was not expecting a big drastic, you know, hair growth. Um, it's only been just a couple months. Um, so, I'm, I'm still going through this journey. I'm going to go for the whole year and see, you know, what my results are at the very end of the year. So, I did thank you guys so much for just tuning in and watching my rice water update. I will be bringing another one. Hopefully, in three months, I'll bring another update for my second check-in. So, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's just Janine. I will see you guys on the next video. Happy hair growing. Bye, guys.